Hey guys, it's Jenny, and today I want to talk to you about what happens after you click submit on your pandemic unemployment assistance application. Now, if you have not yet applied, you'll want to go back and scroll down in this video description. You're going to click on the link to how to apply. Okay, I have a full 30 minute video that walks you through every step of the process and answers questions about the application and answers questions about how to apply. There's about I don't know, 150 comments on there of me answering questions. So most likely your question has already been asked and that's a great resource for you if you have yet to apply and have questions about the application. Now, what happens once you hit submit? Once you hit submit, your PUA unemployment claim is being processed a lot faster than a traditional UI claim was prior to the date that they opened it up for us self-employed independent contractors and gig workers. Now they are waiving the normal seven day uh, application period where they review the application, they verify your income and do all of that because they know that we have been waiting for about a month for them to accept our application. So they're trying to pay us as quickly as possible, which we all know we need. So how do we figure out what happens next? So once you click submit, you are going to find an end page. On that end page, you're going to see your confirmation number. Make sure that you have kept a screenshot or a photo of that screen to save that confirmation number. You will not be receiving an email from them. Many people are looking online and trying to find an email confirmation because they're questioning, did my application really go through? No, you will not receive an email confirmation. So save a screenshot of your confirmation screen. Once you have uploaded your claim, you have saved that confirmation number, you do not need to apply for a job, you need to make sure that you are on the lookout for your approval. Now, uh, the EDD tells you that they will be mailing you your claim status updates which is true, 100% true. You'll receive it in mail. However, there is a sneaky way where you can check online to see if you are approved. I have a video about it and it's linked below. Make sure you watch that for instructions. Now, if you're able to log in and view your claim, you log into UI online, you click manage existing claim. If it takes you to a screen that shows you your claim status and your weeks that need certifying, then you have had your application processed. If it takes you to a screen that asks you to enter in your EDD customer account number, they have not processed your application yet, okay? So you're not doing anything wrong. You don't need to try to get an, an account number or create a new login. If you get taken to a screen that asks for your login, your EDD customer account number, you have not yet had your application processed. Now, if you, are anxious, if you're waiting, if you're thinking something's wrong, just sit tight. My application was processed within 24 hours. I've been hearing a majority of people, their apps are processed within 48 hours. However, they're very, very busy. 24 to 48 hours is very fast for government processing time. So hang tight. As long as you have that confirmation number, wait five to seven business days before you reach out and contact them because the last thing they need is those phone lines clogged any more than they already are. So if you're able to log in, great. If not, hang tight and wait, wait it out. Either way, you will receive a confirmation in the mail stating not only the information that you entered on their claim so you can confirm if it's right, uh, but also your approval status, okay? So once you receive that in the mail, if you have any corrections you need to make, let's say that you entered in an incorrect amount of income and you need to correct it. Okay, or let's say you need to contest something that they, they believe is accurate. Th at that point in time, once you receive that paper mail, then you will receive instructions in that letter on how to contest it or appeal it. Okay, so if you made mistakes on your claim, at that point in time, that's when you can go in and either appeal it or reapply if you need to. Okay, so once you receive that, you will also receive an EDD customer account number. Okay, that is a number that links all your information together with the EDD. Um, I haven't had to use mine very much. Now, if you receive that in the mail, you actually don't need that number to log back into UI online. It's kind of interesting. So, 
Let's say they have processed your application. You can log in to UI Online. I'm going to show you my screen and show you exactly what it looks like so that you understand the breakdown of what is shown in your UI Online portal. Okay, you guys, here I am at edd.ca.gov. I'm going to go ahead and log in to UI Online. So up in the top right corner, I'm going to click on Log In. I'm going to scroll down, and I, on the right-hand side under Benefit Programs Online, I'm going to click Log In or Register. Scrolling down, I'm going to click again, log in or register. Scrolling down once again, over under login, we're going to enter in our email address. We're going to click I'm not a robot. And then I'm going to go ahead and click log in. Okay, it's going to show your password. You're going to click log in. Scrolling down, you're going to click on UI Online. Okay, right here is the screen um, where you can click on Register or Manage your existing claim. Now, if they have not yet finished processing your application, you will be taken to a different screen than what I'm about to show. Don't stress out, don't worry, you just have a few more days to wait. Now, go ahead and click on Register or Manage. Okay, scrolling down, you're going to see my claim summary and my notifications, okay? So when you are first approved, you will notice down here, now I have already been receiving, um, they have a payment in the mail for me. I have yet to receive it. However, they have taken away some of my claim balance because they have paid me out. Now, looking at the claim summary, the claim balance right here, okay? If you just got approved, your claim balance will most likely say 6,500 and I believe $13, um, don't nail me in the comments if I'm like $5 off. Um, so it will most likely say $6,500 and some change. Um, the reason for that is because you have been approved for a weekly benefit amount right here of $167 per week. Okay, that is the minimum pandemic unemployment amount per week. Everybody is going to start with basic approval at that amount. Now, that amount, 167, multiplied by 39 weeks equals 6513, which is what you will see in your claim balance. Okay, once again, they have issued me a payment, so mine looks a little less here. Okay, so 39 weeks, which is the maximum number of weeks that you can have unemployment times the benefit amount right here. Okay, that's what your claim balance is going to equal. You are not receiving that claim balance in one large lump payment. That is your California state unemployment balance that's going to then be paid out to you over a series of 39 weeks. Now, another question you may have is, am I receiving the additional $600 per week from the federal government CARES Act? Yes, you will automatically receive the additional $600 a week from the federal CARES Act. It is not going to be pictured on this claim summary here. The reason for that is because this is the California state website and portal, okay? The additional $600 is coming from the federal government, so that is not going to be shown here. However, California will distribute it to your account on their behalf and will add it in along with your payments. You do not have to do anything else. Now, that additional $600 is not going to be for the entire duration of your 39-week unemployment benefits. That additional $600, as you will see noted right here, will be for weeks March 29th until July 25th, okay? It will be automatically added in for you. It will not be shown on this portal. Okay, moving on. Now, the next thing you will notice is you will notice last payment issued, it says none. You'll notice that I have already stated that I have a payment in the mail coming, okay? I do, however, this is not gonna be updated until it clears through Bank of America, which is a separate entity. The EDD is issuing their payments using a Bank of America debit 
card that will be issued to you. So there is going to be a little bit of a lag in processing times between the two separate business entities. Okay, they have to send the funds, receive the funds, post the funds. So there's a little bit of lag time in their records. So don't get confused, don't panic, it's coming. Uh, next, you'll notice work search requirements. You must be able and available to work and look for full-time work each week. Now, the EDD has stated that at this time, you do not have to do that. If we look over here on your guide, for receiving unemployment benefits. You can scroll down. At the very bottom, you will notice if we click on after you submit your application, at the very bottom, you will notice Upload your resume and Cal Jobs. We understand that this is a difficult time to look for a job right now. You are currently not required to upload your resume to Cal Jobs. Okay? You will also notice certifying for weeks ending March 14th through May 9th. You do not have to provide certification for your continuing biweekly payments for these weeks unless you have already done so. Okay? So there's a few exceptions going on here. I'll cover those in more detail in just a few moments. All right, the next step that you must do is you must certify for your benefits, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and certify for all of my weeks, okay? Even if the EDD says I don't have to, I'm gonna do it anyway because I personally don't want any snags in my unemployment payments. They might say one thing one day and then change it the next as we have all been noticing on their website and I don't want any issues. So if you are able to do so, I would recommend that you certify, although it's not fully required. Um, so up here, uh, you'll notice that mine says no weeks available to certify. I have already certified for my benefits several days ago. Next, I'm gonna show you a link to the video where I go through the certification process. This video was made a couple days ago. Okay guys, so let's say you received your access to your UI online, you received your certification status in the mail, everything is good, and you receive your payment card in the mail. Now, how are you going to get paid? You're gonna receive in the mail, and that's gonna include uh, a Bank of America EDD debit card. Now, your debit card must be activated first to use it, right? There are instructions that are gonna be included in that mailer for you to go online and activate it. Next, you're gonna decide how you're gonna receive your funds. You can either use this preloaded card as a debit card, and you can use it anywhere that you need to pay with a debit card, or you can do a balance transfer. If you wanna be like me, I chose to take the funds out and transfer them over to my personal account. Now, this is my husband's card. <laughs> so, I, I manage our finances, so I, took my husband's card, I went online, I did a balance transfer over to our joint account. Um, so that's how I'm getting our funds from that card. Uh, now I'm still waiting for my own personal card to come in the mail, but I will be doing the same thing as well with that. Now, if you have already received a card from the EDD, did you receive your card in the last three years? If so, then you will be using the same card. They will be loading it to the same card you might be like me uh, with my husband's account and have missed the notification that they are doing it that way. Um, <laughs> and you might be waiting to receive a new card. It might not be coming. If you have received a card within the last three years, it's being loaded to that old card. Now, you might ask yourself, I threw my card away. I cut it up and I threw it away. I didn't think I'd ever need it again. Um, well, it's okay. You can get a new card. You are going to call Bank of America EDD services and you are going to request a new card. Okay, I'm going to drop that phone number in the description of the video down below. So call and request a new card. All right guys, I want to answer some questions that I have been being asked um, in the comments on my videos from friends and colleagues that are fellow self-employed individuals. Um, 
there's a lot of questions coming up. Um, it's confusing. So how long to get approved? All right, so the EDD is waiving their regular seven-day application status right now. Um, they're trying to approve, approve everyone as quickly as possible, um, and they're getting those approvals out as fast as possible. So I noticed my approval came through 24 hours after I applied. I applied at around 7 a.m. on the, let's see, what is it, April 28th. So April 28th, I applied early morning, got a 24-hour uh, approval. Someone that applied later in the day, uh, after they've been pretty much jam-packed processing all these applications, is going to receive a longer waiting period because they're trying to process through a heavier volume. So most people are seeing about 48 hours, um, but don't worry, don't panic, don't clam up their phone line even more. Wait five to seven days before you start worrying. All right, how long until I can log in online? Okay, if you cannot log in to your UI online, if it is asking you for an EDD customer account number, that means they have not yet processed your application, okay? Don't try to create a new login, don't call them, just wait patiently. Um, once you're able to log in, as I show in that video that's linked down below, uh, then they process your application and you can take a look at your claim status. Do I need my EDD account number? Okay, so they're gonna be sending you an EDD account number in the mail. You technically don't need that to log back in. Uh, myself personally and everyone else I have helped through this have been able, once their claim is processed, to log in simply using your email and password that you used to submit your claim. So, no, you do not need that. However, they mail it to you and you will need it as a reference later on. Do I need to wait for the mail? Okay, so I logged in before I got my mail. I haven't even received a mail certification yet that I have been approved. However, I knew that I could log in and try to kind of beat the system. So no, you don't have to wait for the mail. Uh, why haven't I received notification yet? You will not receive an email notification, okay? They are not gonna send you an email and say that your application is done being processed. Um, most of their communications are through the mail. So check your mail, everything will go there. Um, why haven't I received payment yet? We're working with the EDD, <laughs> which is the government uh, organization, and we're also working with Bank of America. They have two separate organizations that are working together to get your payment, okay? So you are going to have a wait time between when the EDD approves you, when they transfer payments to uh, Bank of America to fund you and from when Bank of America um, releases the, those payments to you. So if you're experiencing a few days in between, if your payment history on UI Online looks confusing, that's why. Don't panic, just wait a few extra days. All right, what does the balance mean? So we talked about that earlier. Uh, the balance in your UI Online portal is going to show the total benefit that the EDD has left for you to take advantage of. So you're gonna notice as weeks go by, it's gonna get lower and lower and lower. It's just kind of to let you know how much money you can possibly still claim from the EDD. Um, where is the additional $600 from the federal government? I don't see it in my portal. You will not see it in UI Online, but you will see it automatically when they pay you, okay? So it will be included there. You do not need to do anything extra. Okay, will I receive more than $167 a week? Yes, you can. Uh, there is a possibility that you may receive up to $450 per week instead of your original $167. Now, when you submitted your application, you included in that your net income. Your net income um, is going to let them know if you qualify to receive a larger benefit for per week. Now, the EDD wants to approve as many people as quickly as possible for the pandemic unemployment uh, because we've been waiting so long and they know that we need those funds. So they are approving people at the minimum amount as fast as possible and then they are going to go in a few weeks, a week, two weeks. I'm honestly not that sure. Um, because it remains to be seen. Uh, they're going to go back in, review your account, and if you have more than about $17,500 of 2019 income, 
uh, if your income is higher than that, then you will be eligible to receive up to $450, which is the max benefit per week. Now, that amount is going to be back paid. So, if they approve you initially for $167, you receive your first two weeks payment, the next following week you are approved for $450 a week, they will back pay you from those additional two weeks that you missed out on that additional money. So it's all going to be coming your way if you qualify for it. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any additional questions. I've been checking the comments pretty frequently because I know you guys are having a hard time applying. It's a time that's making everyone really anxious and nervous. I just want to be the best resource I possibly can. Uh, so leave me notes in the comments and I'll do my best to help out.